Hello everyone, we have uh, here exponential equation on the board. 4 raised to the power of x plus 4 raised to the power of y is 1088. And we're going to find uh, the value of x and y. So 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y equals 1088. And in here, we're expressing the uh, exponent x over here and with the addition of uh, the value of y minus y. That's a little trick to do. So this is now 4 raised to the power x minus y plus y. The addition of y minus y to the exponent x won't change the value of the exponent x. Plus 4 raised to the power y equals 1088. And simplify this that is now 4 to the power y times 4 to the power x minus y plus 4 to the power y equals 1088 factoring out 4 power y this is now 4 to the power y times quantity 4 raised to the power of x minus y plus 1 equals 1088 and from here, we start uh, our focus on the right side of the equation, this uh, constant 1088, 1088. So we're going to find the factors of 1088. So we start dividing by 2. So that is 1088. Make a little graph over here. Okay, so 1088 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 8 and 8, that's 4 and 4. And uh, divide by 2 again, that will be 2, 14 divided by 2 is 7, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we keep dividing by 2, so this is now 1, 3 times 2 is 6, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Divide by 2 again, 6 and 16 is 8, so that's 68. Divide by 2 is 34, and divide by 2, 34 divided by 2 is 17. So, and here, since uh, 17 is not divisible by 2 anymore, so that is now 17 is one of the factors. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 2 to the 6. And 2 to the 6 is equivalent to 64. So now we come up to the factors of 1088. That is 64 and 17. So we substitute this value on this uh, this equation. Right side of the equation now is 64 times 17. We have to go back on the left side of the equation that is now 4 the same way. 4 raised to y times the quantity 4 raised to the power of x minus y plus 1. Alright, so if you notice these factors 4 raised to the power y is even, and 64 is even. So this is even, and this is even. And this factor right here, 4 raised to the power x minus y plus 1, is odd. And this corresponds to odd over here. 17 is odd number. So in this case, we're equating this even to even and odd to odd. So we have here now... 4 to the power of y equals 64. And the other side is 4 to the power of x minus y plus 1 is equal to 17. And the left side, 4 to the power of y is 64, can be written the same way as 4 raised to 3. Alright, so and now since we have both both sides of the equation the same base we can equate the exponent now so from here y equals 3 so there's a value of y and the right side we have here now simplify this equation 4 to the power x minus y equals 17 minus 1 transposing 1 to the other side and this is 16 so 4 to the power x minus y equals 16. 
and 16 could be written the same way as 4 squared. So the equation now becomes 4 to the power x minus y equals 4 squared. And the same thing now, we have the same base. That means the exponent must be the same, so this is now x minus y equals 2. And we have just found y earlier, y is 3. So this is now x is equals transposing y to the other side, 2 plus 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So the value of x now is 5. Check our answers. We need to substitute the value of y and x to the original equation. The original equation is 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of y is equal to 1088. And substituting the value of x, where x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 3. So we use those values. So 4 to the power of x is 5 plus 4 to the power of y is 3 equals 1088. 4 to the power of 5 is 1024 plus 4 to the power of 3 is 64. So is that equal to 1088? Now we add it up, 1024 plus 64. So that is 1088 equals 1088. All right, so this confirms the value of x and y are correct. Just found the values of x and y. x is 5, y is 3, and next thing to do is that if we investigate the whole equation, x and y they both have the same base and in this case then we can conclude that the value of y can be the value of x also at the same time and x can have the value of y as well so in here x is 5 y is 3 that means uh, x is 5 and the other value of x can be 3 and likewise on y the value of y is 3 and can also be 5 one thing uh, to note on here based on their answers so if you substitute this value of x 5 and y is 3 you will get this value right here 1088 1088 and at the same time value of x and the value of y 5 you will get 1088 so these are two sets of answers this one right here is divided that way since uh, these go together when x is 5 you get y 3 and when x is 3, you get 5. So that's how it works. So that's the final answer. And so that's all for now. And uh, for those new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next videos. Bye.